if you're not feeling so inspired and you want to get inspired then you know, what I recommend is put yourself in the company of inspirational people put yourself in the company of people who all are already inspired who are living an inspired life or have an inspired vision already and are committed to it you know and you never know who can inspire you you, you never know um, I was just coaching a young guy of 18 years old there and uh, just listening to his vision of what he's looking to create in his life an extraordinary vision I, I became inspired because you know part of what I saw is I saw um, like a younger version of me in him of having an extraordinary vision for their life and being committed to it and not being swayed by the outer opinions of others but having that internal vision for himself and his life and I, I find that incredibly inspirational I, I remember back to how I was when I was 18 with uh, with an extraordinary vision and uh, you know something that that's great that can start us off having uh, a, a great inspired vision for our life is, is, is naivety you know when we want to really create something big sometimes it's the na naivety of what it's really going to take to get us going you know that that naivety can can actually uh, can get us going if, if we see it as what it quite often really is 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 a is a go it's tough it, it can be really tough to create something extraordinary in your life it, it can take a lot of challenges a lot of obstacles a lot of challenges to get get there yeah a lot of heartache a lot of disappointment a lot of failure to get there it can take a lot of that to create something extraordinary we're not talking about the mediocre here you know the mediocre doesn't take too much failure or whatever or too much disappointment it's just mediocre right but if you really want to create something extraordinary then you got to be prepared for what's coming what's coming is challenges what's coming is obstacles what's coming is failures mistakes what's coming is looking stupid what's coming is getting over your fears what's coming is facing your fears and, and, and breaking through them that's what's coming what's coming is becoming someone who you haven't been before it's stepping into the unknown and if you're willing to do that if you're really willing to do that then you can do it if you're willing to fall over and not worry about it if you're willing to have disappointments if you're willing to have failures if you're willing to put in a whole lot of effort only to come to a dead end and have to come all the way back again and start again if you're willing to do that then you can have whatever you want in life you, you can live an extraordinary life if you're willing to do those things the thing is that most people aren't willing to do that most people aren't willing to go over the disappointment after disappointment the failure after failure to actually get what they really want in life to, to live that extraordinarily fulfilling life most people aren't willing to do that and there's one thing that will get you there there's one thing that will burn through all the obstacles there's one thing that will pick you up after you've fallen over so many times there's one thing that will make you keep going disappointment after disappointment after disappointment there's one thing that will make you turn around after you've hit a dead end and come back and start all over again there's one thing that will do that and that is desire when you have a desire that is big enough and strong enough and you focus that des desire in the direction you want to go it will burn through any obstacle it, it, will, it will break through any challenge uh, it, will, it, will, it will pick you up disappointment after disappointment failure after failure until you get to where you really want to be in life and it is the journey as well that makes you who you become it is that journey it's not just ringing the bell at the end and say I got here it's the whole journey it's incredible that journey that is the hero's journey right and that's I just want to let you know what it takes you know so there's no illusions there it is the naivety of not knowing what it's going to take whatever it is you want to do in life not knowing what it's going to take it's the naivety that starts you off if you really knew probably wouldn't start in the first place but the naivety is a great thing um, because it gets you going and it's the desire that keeps you going it's the, having the vision having the clear vision and the desire to create that vision that's what keeps you going on the journey that's what allows you to break through and because without it you just hit the obstacle and come back and go oh, maybe it wasn't meant for me 
and that's when the excuses set in, the justification, the blame, the complaining, whatever. That's when all those things set in. With, with a strong enough desire, not, none of those things can get in the way, right? So that's what you've got to get. You've got to have the desire. You've got to get real with yourself. Do you have that desire to do whatever it takes? Are you willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes? And if you are, then, like I said, you can have literally whatever you want. And if you're not, then stop kidding yourself, you know? But I know that you are. Everybody has it. Everybody has it. It's just a decision. Everybody has it inside of them. It's just a decision to do it. So I don't know what your vision is. I don't know what your level of desire is, but you can turn up that level of desire so strong, so laser focused that it will burn through anything. Absolutely anything. And I've had many experiences of it myself in my life. Many experiences when, you know, other people stopped, turned around, and I just kept going, you know. I mean, when I was 16, um, I, one, of, one of my visions, one of my big goals for life was, was to be an elite soldier. I wanted to join the Royal Marines Commandos told the story before I had asthma um, all these all these obstacles all these things were stopping me from doing it I broke through all those things I went and I did my my interviews I did my my uh, my like a full day of tests and everything and they turned around to me and said no you're too young you're too young come come back in a year or something you know and um, but even then they were just really saying don't don't bother coming back right and so I went away and that could have knocked a lot of people down that could have said okay well obviously it's not meant for me and gone on and done something else but my level of desire was too much. I was incredibly disappointed. Disappointed at the time. I, I didn't speak to anyone for a few days after I got that rejection. Um, but I, I got focused and I trained hard for the next year. I went out and I got a job and I wanted to go back in a year's time and show them that I was, that I was uh, old enough, I was mature enough, that I was uh, dedicated, I had determination. So I went away and I got a job uh, as a canoe instructor and I got my canoe instructor's license, kayak instructor. And I worked for years as a kayak instructor, and I trained really hard, and I got different uh, different uh, trophies and different medals for doing different different sports and things. Uh, so I could go back and say, oh, look, this is what I've achieved over the last year. And uh, and with that, then then they said, okay, we'll give you a chance, you know. And uh, so you know, the, the rest is history. The rest is history. A very successful career I had from that. Um, so that's what I'm saying to you, you know. You get, get get real with yourself. You, you do have it in you, whatever it is. It's just, do you have that desire? And if you don't have that desire, then crank it up. Crank that desire up within yourself and you can create it. But you've got to get real because there's going to be disappointments, there's going to be challenges, there's going to be obstacles, there's going to be failures, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be big dents to the ego as you go through. You're going to have to humble yourself at times. But at the end of the day, you got to keep going. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.